loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the beautiful Allegra Shaw with me. We're gonna talk about <laughs> winter wardrobe essentials that um, we, about, that there are essentials because it's winter. <laughs> And we're gonna do questions and talk a little bit about each other's inspiration for style, for the way we dress, and that's it, let's get it. Let's do it. So, Allegra, first category is coats. Coats. I really like those moto coats, you know, like the acne moto coat remote. Yes. I love those. They're like a leather jacket for the winter, and I'm so into it. But is it warm enough? Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna show you, should I bring this Yes. Down? Okay, yeah. this one is by Mr. Saturday, and so warm, it's like the two-tone velvet. So oh that goodness. cool, yeah. different sort of thing. And then this one's old from Zara, and this one's super warm. And I wore this all last winter, and it has that like kind of sheen to it. So it looks like leather almost. So I have like already a sense of like who's your, you know, what's your style, but if you could choose your style animal, <laughs> keeping a straight face by saying it, I am assuring you that I will try to trademark that thing because style animal is the next spirit animal. Style. Okay, who's your style animal? My style animal. I really like the Olsen twins when I can find photos of them because I feel like they're <laughs> never photographed and I love I feel love like because them. you can't find any of their photos, you already like start making in your like making up in your head kind of their like what they wear. Yeah. They're just so cool. They are super cool. Yeah. What was your favorite era of them? Like <laughs> when they were kids. <laughs> oh. But style era? I think maybe mid 2000s. I think they just really. When they were walking around with Starbucks cups everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I like they're like that. black and drapey, and they yeah. like don't wear makeup, and their hair is always natural. I'm just like, you're so cool. Okay, tell me about your coats now. Okay, so I have this trick where basically in the winter I hate dressing up in the winter because I feel like I can't. Like in the summer and spring you can play with colors and I'm into colors now, but in the winter it's like everything is like, you can't see anything. Yeah. So what I do is I'll basically have the same uniform every single day, basically what we're wearing right now. <laughs> we're twins today. Yes, the also twins, hey. All I do is I invest in like coats. So I'm very serious when it comes to style. I brought all my coats to show you. So I'll buy like, they can be so nice. high and low. This was like, this one I got from like Russia. I just buy different prints. So I can wear the same like clothes underneath, but I put a different jacket every day and it's like a totally oh, different outfit. A new outfit. And then when I feel a little more like like sassy. Yes. <laughs> I'll get this one. And this one was an investment piece. I actually bought it on sale, but it was still expensive. It's by Sandro and this like brings a pop of color into my I love wardrobe. That and makes it colors, a little yeah, more. Yeah, these colors are so nice. Yeah, I always buy colors that I know will match with kind of the majority Everything. of my wardrobe. And this is a nice like muted color, so. Yeah. yeah. When I feel, I don't know what I feel, I feel <laughs> happy and like that emoji would be, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so I get this one, this is just Zara. I find that with Zara, I always go and I'll find like good kind of statement pieces and they're not very warm, but I am like, Dressing up, basically. I also love layering coats, like an overcoat with like a, like a leather jacket underneath, or like a blazer oh, yes. underneath, so you get that texture. That's the thing. You can put like any jacket that you like under, yeah, or, or like a big those. sweater too. Yes. Just and then this one, which is my like darling of coats, because it's so big and fluffy and comfy. I, I'm gonna steal that coat. Yeah. Right? I, I so like good. Like, if you ever wonder what I'm wearing under all of this, it's always this. But I'll like switch with my coats every single day. Yeah. So, so that's okay. my coat hack. Okay. Now who's your Who's your style animal? <laughs> My style animal. She's on Instagram, she's bad Geo. Giovanna Batag Bataglia and Gilbert. <laughs> Anyways, her thing is her shortcut is bad Geo and what she is, I don't know if she is anymore. Right now she's like an author oh, and stuff. Yeah. But cool. This woman literally like opened She loves color. Yes, she opened my eye. Yes. I love it. She opened my eyes to like being fun and risky and like just like enjoying fashion. Yeah. So she's my current style animal. But I mean for my always and forever, my style icon will be Kate Moss. She's good. So good. And she's, she's like, like so cool. Just so cool. Yeah. Okay, beep sweater. What will be your favorite go-to like top choice? Turtlenecks. This season for me it's all turtlenecks. I like the like thinner ones so you can layer them under things. And then I also like I have a chunky one here because like who doesn't love a good chunky turtleneck? 
They're the yes. best. But what I've really, really been liking is sleeveless turtlenecks. And then I can layer them under sweaters. And I can layer them under button downs, like anything. And it creates- That's a great hack. Yeah. It keeps you warm and it's like so chic. It is very chic. Yeah. You know what I love this? I've noticed that a lot of people do it. It's like moving from fall to winter, turtleneck, and then like a big button down and then like a coat yeah. over it. So good and like that layer. I love like depth to an outfit. Yeah, there's so much going on. I always usually go for like big chunky knits. Like and what we're like I didn't bring any examples because I'm wearing this one. This one's so nice though. Where's yeah. this one from? Top shop. Mm, I like it. And this one is crop. I love like to buy crop because I feel like with sweaters I can put like a button down under and then the rest of the button down is like peeping. Yeah. Is that the word you use? Thing. We can use that word, yeah. Cool. So what will be your favorite trend for this season? I know I just talked about coats and how I love a moto coat, but that puffer coat trend for me coming in is just like, it's everything that a Canadian needs and wants, you know? Like it's true. All Canadians want to wear a big coat, puffy, and like it keeps you so warm, but they have so many good options now. So I would say my favorite trend for this winter is mixing up feminine stuff with like masculine pieces so yeah. the boots that i'm wearing that we're going to talk about and just like big jackets you know with yeah. like a dress or like even that moto jacket like it just toughens up any outfit. exactly i love that like you know playing between like juxtaposition the between worlds. the feminine it's like i'm a princess but i'll kick your ass you know what I mean? Yeah, that kind of that's stuff. exactly. So that's my favorite trend for this season. Okay, so pants. I love black jeans. Like, I just love them. They're just so versatile and like fit so well and make you look so tall. I mean, I'm pretty short, so. I'm... If you buy the right pair. Yeah, they have yeah. to be like a bit high-waisted to kind of like cinch your waist. Mm -hmm. I have a few options. All Saints stilt jeans are amazing. They fit so well, they don't stretch mm -hmm. out. And they're kind of like that faded. They're just the perfect height. I just love them. And I like that faded look because it just kind of mm -hmm. makes your outfit look a little bit more grungy. Yeah. Topshop Jamie Jean is just like a classic in my, in my yeah. wardrobe. I think everyone loves a Topshop. It makes your butt look so good. It's true. Especially for those who don't have one. And then these are something I bought in the summer and they're the Oh my god, brand. I have these too. I, that's the ones I brought. The split seam? No. You have to wear a heel with them, but it's worth it. And they're that vintage. I love that yes. vintage. Yes, okay. yeah. that's what I love. So for me, like the jeans that I brought are basically the same. So I got these. These are also girlfriend, the same type of um, material. Yeah. I mean, I think it's basically the well, same. Well, it's all like recycled denim. Yeah, so, it's cool. so I love mom jeans. It's such a cliche because I'm a mom, but like, I love how comfortable they are. I love that they're a little tighter on the waist and yeah. then they're like a little looser down. I feel like Especially they make you look like winter. you have hips too. Like I don't have any hips. Yeah, same. Straight, so it like makes you kind of look feminine. Yeah, and it's again like, you know, I love the undone hams. Um, they're just, they look very effortless and I think that's always kind of the look I'm going for. Yeah. I'm like a chic bum in a way. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. I like yeah. that. I always tell people like invest in good denim. Totally. You literally need one or two pairs of amazing denim. Yeah. And you don't have to wash them that often, so yeah. they last like years. Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite store? For essentials, I would say that I think Aritzia are doing pretty good. Yeah. And I always look for, you know, staple pieces, good quality, turtlenecks or like good denim. Yeah. Or just they have a lot of different brands in there. And I like shopping online. Their online store is really it's nice. Yeah. Kind of a one stop shop. Yeah. What's for you? Well, I'm gonna plug myself. I own a clothing company called Uncle. So I get all my basics from there. We like strive to make the perfect t-shirt. So I think we've really killed that. There's all my t-shirts and everything else from there. Okay, now shoes. I always go for a Chelsea boot. Oh, yeah. These are pretty inexpensive from Aldo. So you're not, you don't feel too bad with getting These are like, from Aldo? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, everyone has a Chelsea boot, but I really like the ones from Aldo. They're super comfortable, and since they're not expensive, you can kind of justify if they get like beat up that year buying another pair the next year. I actually prefer like shoes that get beaten up a little. Yeah, I don't like something shoes too new. Yeah. yeah, so that's why for me, with boots, I'll go to vintage stores. Mm -hmm. Probably when I go to New York, they always have like a good, way better vintage yeah. in New York. Yeah, and this is an example of what I'm wearing here. This was $25. At a vintage store? Yes. Those are so nice. The quality is amazing. I love, like I said, like clunky kind of masculine boots mm -hmm. just because, you know, my style is very kind of gentle, I yeah. feel. Yeah. So I like to have a little. And they're also like a company that still makes clothes. So it's like, it's not what really vintage. Like Frey. Fry. Fry. Yeah, those are really good quality boots. Yeah. I can't believe someone gave those up. I know, but I got them. How would you describe your style in three words? And go. 
Casual? Yeah. Oh god. Casual. What? Do you have any words for me? Casual, powerful, elegant. That's so nice, thanks. That is so nice. I'll take it. Those are my three words. That's a good one. Excuse me, we're filming. <laughs> okay, what are your three words to describe your style? I would say comfortable, effortless, and... You have to say chic. Your style is so chic. Thanks! I wanted to say too cool for school, but I feel like it's not a cool term anymore. <laughs> no, I would Little definitely throwback. say chic. Chic, that thanks. That photo of you with the, go, with the grocery bags and yeah. the fur, like that's, that's so good. It's so Thank chic, you. mom. What are your go-to accessories? Okay, first, I love small sunglasses. I think they're so in and they just mm -hmm. look like so hip and cool. I mean, I don't think they actually protect your eyes or do anything constructive, but they look cool, so that's good. I feel like you have to have a certain personality to be able to rock these. Yeah. You rock this, they look yeah, great Yeah, thank you. you, thank you. These went for Burberian fraud and they have a bunch of like small sunglasses and I just, I'm obsessed. Yes. I think backpack purses are just so key in the winter because then you don't have to carry anything. It's just like, I can stay warm. So yeah. this is my Chloe backpack. I bought this secondhand. What? And, yeah, I bought on Best Year Collective. Oh my God, and I love like, this. And it was like perfect condition. So uh, backpacks, very key. And then gloves, like I, these are leather ones, but Honestly, I usually wear those like dollar ones you can get at the convenience store and I just like have them stashed everywhere like so in my car, in my pockets and they're just like, I it's just need my hands. Yeah, yes. especially here. I know. When you're driving, like your hands need to be oh, warm. Man. For me, my, my accessories, I always, I have like a ridiculous amount of super huge scarves mm. that I just like wrap around myself like 30 <laughs> times and you just like see eyes. <laughs> I love those because then when I go into a place, like I'll take off my jacket, but then I'll use it as like a... Yeah, and then you're not like boiling hot because you have that like layer. Yeah, exactly. So I even like, I feel like I never dress up completely like winter. Yeah, same. You know what I mean, appropriate. So those always save me. So these, honestly, you can find anywhere. This is, I think like is H&M and as long as it's huge, I'm good to go with yeah. that. This one I got as a present. This is from Max Mara, but it's... Oh, and that is nice. nice. <laughs> this is Valerian. That's winter. chic. <laughs> winter chic. Winter That's all you chic. need to know. <laughs> That's it. I think. Just oh, oh, beanies. You're always in a beanie. You're I'm always in a beanie. In a beanie. <laughs> My hack for beanies is steal your boyfriend, husband's, whatever boy you have in your life beanies. Uh, this one is like literally, I think the first beanie I bought I was for gonna myself. say, is that Gary's? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is Gary's. Uh, this is the first one, cause it's pink. Yeah, and it's cute. you know how I feel about pink. So this is kind of a pop of color. So what I like to do is I have like gray and black, like yeah. you know, the basic ones, but then with things like that, I'll mix it up. If I have a coat, let's say that's black and white, I'll just put like a colorful beanie and just like bring a little color to it. Yeah, I love Cause it. you gotta like bring some life in the winter. It's so hard. Right. With a red coat or something, I'll have, I'll steal like Gary's like gray beanie. Anyway, so I play around with my beanies, but that's basically it. That's like my accessories and for the winter. And it keeps you so warm. And it keeps me warm. Okay guys, this is it for this video. Thank you so much, Allegra, for joining me. Welcome. I had so much fun. Me too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I encourage you guys to go and check Allegra's channel for fashion. I love your fashion videos, uh, nutrition, lifestyle. Um, she kind of has it all going on there. So you guys definitely should check it out. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.